There, there we go. All right, so squat, quad stretch on the right, squat, quad stretch on the left. Down on the hips and heels. You can hold it for a little longer at the top of your knees. You can hold it for up to one to three seconds if you have to. Or it could just be quick for just a quick one second. And come on. Quick stretch, drop, and a quick stretch. All right, we're going to walk forward just to get those shoulders loosened up. Big forward shoulder circles, walking forward and backwards, shoulder circles, walking backwards. Forward shoulder circles coming forward, just fling them loose, fling them open. And come backwards, coming back. Looks like your screen froze, but we're still here. Forward shoulder circles going forward, and walking backwards with back shoulder circles. We're moving forward. Walk forward, forward, forward shoulder circles, loose, loose shoulders. You're not muscling it through, you're just whipping it back and fling them forward. All right, we're gonna go back to that squat, except we're gonna squat and go with a shoulder stretch at the top. At the bottom of the squat, it's gonna open your chest up, shoulder stretch, fling it, and open it up. Just open that chest up, stretch the shoulder. Open it here, and stretch. Let's get everything ready to move. We're gonna do about 30 different types of either squat thrust or crawl out today. All different variations, using body weight, single leg, double leg, plyometric, using dumbbells, medicine ball, kettlebells, and that's good. Let's go back to that forward. Again, with the forwards, forward circles forward, backwards, backwards. We need those shoulders loose because you're going up and down those arms all day. And backwards. Good. Right into a the squat, not to a knee hug. Hug the knee up the chest for one to three seconds. Squat, knee hug left. Full squat, knee hug right. Full squat, and hug the left. Drop down onto the hips and heels and stretch it. Drop and stretch. One more each side. Getting those legs warmed up for, this, for all the different variations of the squat thrust and crawl out that we're going to do. All right, so we're going to start off with just a few warm up variations of the squat thrust. So the good thing about these is you're going to get us warmed up for the squat thrust, but they're also variations. So once you get to harder sets, you'll know modifications to go to if you ever need to. So we're going to start with just a walking squat thrust. You're going to squat down, step back with the right, step back with the left, in with the right, in with the left, squat up. Next one, leave the left leg. So it should be left, right, left, right, and come up. Next one, right, left, right, left, and up. Just alternate which leg leads the way. So one time it should be right, left, right, left. The next time it should be left, right, left, right. Full squat to get down there. Don't lean over at the waist. As you're going that one leg at a time, you should get those hips warmed up. The hip, hip flexor warmed up. Keep working through it. And squat to get down there. Don't lean over at the waist. One leg at a time. So while one leg steps back, pause that even for a second to get that stretch in your hip flexor. Then pause on the other side as you come back in. Open those hips up. Move those hips be loose. So you're going up and down all Day. All right, come up. We're now going to do a 50 50 squat thrust. There's two variations of that of this warm up. So we're going to squat down, you're going to step back, step back, and then jump forward with both legs. So you're going to walk back and then jump forward. Down, step, step, jump. You're just stepping back and then jumping forward and then coming up. Step back, jump forward, and come up right there. It's just a 50 50 squat thrust. So you're stepping back, jump forward. Make sure you alternate which leg you step back with first. Make sure those abs are strong when you're stepping back. Back is totally straight. Down, step, step, jump, and come up. Down, step, step, jump it. Make sure you're jumping onto your hips and heels. You're actually squatting to get up there each time. Not leaning over at the waist. Step, step, and Jump, time, just real quick to stretch those quads out so we're still just getting warmed up. We got a lot, tons of these sets to go. Just stretch those out. Get those knee hugs in again. 
All right, we're gonna go the same exact thing, a 50-50 squat thrust, except we're gonna jump back and then walk forward. So squat down, jump back, then step, step, coming forward. Squat down, jump back, step, step, and squat up. Make sure you're alternating which leg is stepping forward first each time. Jump back, step, step, and up. Squat down to get down there. Jump, step, step, bring it up. Piece by piece. I'm gonna angle this down a little more. Let's see the floor better. I'm down there. So squat, jump back, step, step, and come up. Boom, jump, step, step, bring it up. Let's go two more, two more. It's a 50 50 squat to us. Version B. Come back, pop, pop, squat up. And that's good. Just shake those arms out in between. It's only going to be short little breathers in between these sets. So just shake it. We're just getting the blood flowing. We're just getting started. All right, we're going to do a full squat thrust here. We're going to pause for one second at each spot. So there's a pause rep. So start our squat base, feet apart. Just come down, hold for a second. Hands on the floor, jump your feet back. Hold for a second. Jump feet forward. Hold for a second. And squat up. So you're just holding each spot of the squat thrust for just one second. So squat, hold, jump, hold, jump, hold, squat up, hold. Right back down. So you're just holding each spot just for a second each. Keep it tight, keep it moving. It's like camera there is frozen, I'm not sure. Squat, hold, jump, hold that high plank position, jump, hold that squat, and come up. It's just a pause rep. Pause rep for the squat thrust. Squat down and hold. Jump back and hold. Forward and hold. You're just holding each spot of the squat thrust just for one second. Keep working through it piece by piece. Holding each spot. Just a pause rep. Pausing each spot of the squat thrust. You don't have to bounce it out. Down, hold, jump back, hold, jump forward, hold, squat up, time. Walk it and shake it. Now this is going to be just it. We're going to get ready for the crawl outs. We're just going to go regular set of shoulder taps. The shoulder tap is a great. We go with our wide feet. Just a regular set of slow shoulder taps. Reach up and hold just for a second. Reach up and hold for a second. With your feet wide. This is getting you ready for crawl outs coming up. Because everything we do from this point with the squat thrust, we're going to do the same variation with the crawl out. So whenever we do the squat thrust, we're going to immediately do that exact same exercise with the crawl out. But crawl out doesn't have as many variations or warm-up exercise as the squat thrust. So a nice slow shoulder tap is one way to do it. And back up on the feet. Now we're just going to go to a full variation of the squat thrust. It's a regular squat thrust. Now we're getting into it. We're squatting down, jump back, jump in, stand up. Nice and smooth. Four count exercise. Down, back, in, and up. Down, back, in, and up. It's like the camera keeps freezing out. Regular squat thrusts. We don't need a ton of them. This is just getting ready now for the real thing. Because there's so many variations coming up. Just have to make sure I don't have to let anyone back in the room. No, we're good. All right, one more. Down, back, in, and up. Good. We're going to go back to the shoulder taps, except now they're going to be for speed. Speed shoulder taps. Real quick with the hands. Push up position. Feet apart on these because we want to be in the position we're going to be in for the crawl out. And just speed shoulder taps. Just flick it up. Fingertips tap the shoulder. Hands are under the shoulders, lined up under the shoulders. Chest is strong. Looks like you got lost connection, went out of the room. You should be back in now. Speed shoulder taps. Speed, speed, just flick it up. Couple more, couple more. She's just going to choose out. She's going to do some more down there. Speed shoulder taps. 
Just get ready for those karats. Real fast. Just flick the fingertips up to the shoulders. Flick, 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 flick. And good. Let's come back up onto the feet. And let's get our first set of just regular quads. We don't need a ton of the cross because we're going to do them so many different ways. So feet wide in the shoulder width, squat down, touch your hands to the floor, all the way out, push up position, crawl up back in, and come up. Just a regular crawl out. Just getting ready to do this with all the other exercises. Every exercise we do is going to get done with squat thrust, and then it's going to get repeated with the crawl out after this set right here. From here on out, every set gets done with both. Beginning, there's just so many more variations of the squat for us. We did a lot more of them to get warmed up. Perfect warm up circuit for this. Go all the way out, full push up position. Go back and squat up. One more. And good time. Every time, as I'm explaining the next exercise, that's a couple seconds to just shake it out, take those shoulders, do what you gotta do, keep that blood flowing, wiggle it, shake it. So so that first exercise we're adding in is a push-up. So that means we're going to do squat thrust to push-up. Once that's done, we'll do a full set of that, and we'll do crawl out to push-up. So every exercise from this point gets done with a variation with squat thrust and a variation with the crawl out. So let's do it. Let's do squat thrust. It's just one push-up at the bottom. Squat thrust to push-up. Three, two, one, go. Jump back, full push-up, jump forward, and come up. So it's a full squat thrust. Full squat thrust, down, jump back, push, jump in, and come up. Work through it. Jump to those heels, and come up. Squat thrust to push up. Stand up tall, each time, squat down, jump back, push, jump in, squat up. Frying those legs here. Get your heart rate up, and then working the chest, shoulders, and triceps on that push-up every time. Now get to the real work. All that, all those sets up to this point was just practice. It was just warm-ups. Stand up tall. Squat. Jump. Push. Let's do one more, one more, one more. And time. What next that's coming next? Crawl out to push up. Crawl out to push up. It's every single set we do with the squat thrust, and we repeat it with the crawl out. So in between, as we just explained the next exercise, that's your seconds. Just shake it, stretch it. So now we're going crawl out to push up. One push up while you're out there. Let's do it. Crawl all the way out. Push. Crawl back in. And come up. Crawl out to push up. All the way out there. Push, just be wider than shoulder width apart. Feet wider than shoulder width, all the way out. Full push up and squat up. Crawl out to push up. All the way out there and push, squat, and come up. Crawl out to push up. Camera keeps freezing on you. I can't see if you're getting it in. Roll out, push, in, and up. Keep rolling. Drive it, drive it. Hey, there's a blue phone. I'm gonna get some Facebook too, just in case. Look at that. Crawl out, push up. Let's get one more. Roll out, push, keep the back straight, sit on the heels, and come up and shake it. I'm going to get a second stream going on here on Facebook in case maybe Zoom seems like you're getting frozen up on Zoom. So I'm going to actually also do this with a live on Facebook if that will help. Shake it. Stretch it. It's going to get a second phone going. So let's be on Zoom and on Facebook from this point. Shake those arms out. Next coming up is just a front kick. One single front kick. So we're going to do a squat thrust. Front kick right. So squat thrust. Kick right. Squat thrust. Of it to your me freaky zone. What's that? 
it keeps freezing and you keep uh, jumping in and out like it knocks you off and then you come back yeah i see that you, it keeps dropping you down and you're freezing on mine too i'm gonna put this also on facebook i'm gonna get it going live on facebook maybe that'll be a better connection and you'll be able to follow it i'm gonna go on there right now and add to facebook keep going Ryan. Squat thrust to front kick right while we're waiting. I'm going to get this connected also on Facebook. Squat thrust, front kick right. Then squat thrust, front kick left. Squat thrust, front kick right. Squat thrust, front kick left. Squat and kick every time you come up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Strong abs when you're going back in that squat thrust. Keep working, you can just pop pots in right back there. So it keeps dropping you out. I'm gonna go live on in the, in the group on Facebook. Maybe that'll be a better better connection for you and you have to follow better. I'm gonna go live right now on Facebook. And time. We're going to go right to a crawl out to right kick. Crawl out to front kick. Crawl out, front kick right. Crawl out to front kick left. Let's do it. So it's the same exercise every time. We're now going to add this live onto Facebook as well. Just have a second option. So now we're on crawl out. Come in, front kick right. Crawl out, in, front kick left. Crawl out, front kick right. Crawl out, front kick left. Keep working, keep moving. There it is, there it is. It's a crawl out, crawl out to a front kick. All the way out, come in, boom, bend and extend on the front kick. Go all the way out, crawl back in, bend and extend on the left kick. Abs are strong while you're doing that. All right, yes, you're doing this here. I hope you'll have a be able to better connection here. Sometimes Facebook Live will work better than Zoom. Drive it out and kick. Control it. Work that chest, shoulders, tries as you're crawling out. Abs are strong. And time. All right, we're going to go now. Every time, I'm telling you, every time I call time, get a quick stretch. We're going to go squat thrust to plank jack. So we're down here. Jump back. We're back here for one, two. Jump in and come up. So it's two plank jacks at the bottom of the squat thrust every time. Let's do it. Two plank jacks. Squat down. Jump back. One, two. Jump forward and up. Right back down. Two jacks. Squat thrust to plank jack. Keep rolling. Come back. Abs are strong. Chest, shoulders, and thighs. All working while you're down there. On the balls of your feet, your feet jumping apart and together. Apart and together. Back up so you see a little bit better. Jump back. Two jacks. Jump forward. Squat it up. Whole body's working. Get that heart rate up there. Push the pace a little bit. A bounce in your step on those plank jacks. Keep it rolling. Every time you're down there, hop, hop, feet together, jump forward, squat it up. Make sure you squat down. Make sure you squat up at the end. Don't lean over at the waist. Here it is. Come more. One more. One more. One more. Work through it. Time. I'm telling you, every time I call time, stretch those legs. Stretch that hip flexor. It's a lot of up and down. You've been doing this all day. Shake it, stretch it, 
Get those shoulders ready. And this is just a body weight round. We still have dumbbell round coming up and a kettlebell round, and maybe even a medicine ball round. Let's see how that one goes. All right, shake it. So if we just did squat thrust to plank jack. You know that means we now have crawl out to plank jack. Let's do it. Start with wide stance. Wide are the shoulder width apart. Squat down, crawl forward, two jacks. Let, make sure your feet end up apart again after two jacks. So it really might be two and a half jacks. Whatever. Crawl out. One, two. Actually, it's two. Make sure your feet end up apart. So you have that wide stance for your crawl out. Crawl all the way out. One, two. Crawl in. And come up. Control it. Go at your own pace. Do what you have to do. Control those arms out there. Go all the way out. Pop. Pop. Crawl in. And come up. Nice. Wide, strong stance with those feet. Crawl it. Two jacks. And up. There it is. Go way out. One, two. And up. Couple more. Couple more. We're working through it. We're working your whole body here. Bring it in. And up. Yes. Couple more. Let's go one more, one more, one more. Pull it out there. Two jacks. Pull it in. And time. Shake those legs out every time. Shake them, stretch them, because it's up and down all day. Every set. We're going to take a little spot in here. A spot here. We're going to hit some core sets. Just to get off your feet out of those positions, we're going to take a little... In between set, so go flat on your back for this round. We're gonna go alternating single leg leg drops. This is really just to give that position, that squat plus a crawl position, a little breather. So put both feet up, and it's gonna lower one foot down, and then bring it back up. Bring the other one down, and bring it up. Just tap the heel to the floor, bring it up. Control, tap, and squeeze. Tap, squeeze. One leg at a time. Resist down. Abs are tight the whole time. Don't let them ease up. Tension on your core the whole time. This is just got those two positions. It's actually stretching that hip at the bottom. One more each side. Tap. Squeeze. Keep that core tight. And good. Come back onto your feet. Stretch those quads out. Get it ready. Shake it for the next round coming up. We're on back to the squat thrust, adding in a squat jump. So it's just one squat thrust to one squat jump. So right from that bottom position of the squat thrust, you go right to a jump. So squat down, jump back, jump in, jump up, land smooth, and then flow right back into the next one. You can re pause and reset like I am, or you go like this freak show and just get in like four for every one. And my fat ass gets. Jump and get some air. Oh, you're not sucker. Come on. Oh, you can't do that pace. You're not so old and slow. Come on. And get a little high. I'm getting air. Get up there, sucker. Oh, yeah. Push it. Squat thrust to squat jump. Make sure you jump in the bottom position. Don't lean over at the waist. Get some air. Get up there. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. Squat jump in here. She's going off the screen. Here for your head to the ceiling. That's the way we need it. Oh, yeah. From the side view, you can see I'm here, squat position before I jump up. So don't be slumped over at the waist. And time. All right. It was squat thrust to squat jump. So you know that means now it's crawl out to squat jump. So as you crawl back in, you jump right in that bottom position. Let's do it. Crawl out. Crawl in, squat jump. Right to the next one. Crawl out, crawl in, get some air. Get up, get up, get up. Crawl up, jump. Right away, flow right to the next one. You are working freaking every muscle in your body right here, including your heart and lungs, as long as you're keeping that pace going. Heart rate should be through the roof. If you're pushing the pace and not bullshitting, let's do it. 
Let's roll. Last hand's going out. Crawl back in. Explode. Get up there. Oh, yeah. Boom. One more. One more. Work through it. Oh, yeah. Ha. All right, so we're back to squat thrust. This time, we have four high knees after our squat thrust. You see the exercise we're adding in. One time we're adding in an exercise in the bottom position of the squat thrust. Next time we're adding an exercise at the top position of the squat thrust. We just did the bottom position, or sorry, the top position of the squat thrust. Now we're doing mountain climbers, the bottom position. Four mountain climbers at the bottom of your squat thrust. Four mountain climbers. So squat thrust back. One, two, three, four. Both feet are back. Come forward. Come up. High intensity exercise here. This is fast pace. One, two, three, four. Jump forward. And squat thrust up. Squat down. One, two, three, four. Make sure after those four climbers that both feet end up in the back position so you could jump forward together and squat up. Squat down. Jump back. One, two, three, four. Step back. Jump forward and come up. Squat down, jump. One, two, three, four. Forward, get some air. Jump back. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. You jumping too? Oh, you're adding a squat jump? Trying to make it harder for everybody? Trying to kill us? Shit, it's hard enough as it is. Squat thrust. Four climbers. Jump in and stand up. Let's go two more times. Come on, two more. One, two, three. I'm just strong. Last one. Last one. One, two, three, four. 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 So you know, so you know we need to now, we just did squat thrust to four mountain climbers. Now we got to do crawl out to four mountain climbers. Because everything we do in squat thrust, we're repeating with a crawl out. Working your entire body, your upper body. Should be just as tired right now as your lower. Should be just as tired as you're breathing in your cardio. Let's do it. Wide stance. Crawl out to four mountain climbers. Squat down, crawl all the way out. One, two, three, four. Get your feet apart before you crawl back in. Get back, start with that wide stance, finish with that wide stance. Squat down, crawl out. One, two, three, four. Feet apart, crawl back. Just like that. Let it flow. Chain it together. One, two, three, four. Get the feet back apart. Jump them apart. Step them apart. Doesn't matter. As long as you get that wide stance. So crawl back in on. One, two, three, four. Feet apart. Crawl in and look. Squat up. Don't lean over at the waist. Don't let your shoulders do all the work. Squat up to get up there from the crawl out. Squat down. Crawl out. One, two, three, four. Apart. Crawl back in. Squat up. Let's go. Two more. Two more. Work through it. Ha, 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 ha. Feet apart. Bring it in. And up. Last one. Boom. All the way out there. One, two, three, four, four. Time. All right. We're going to go on to our back just to get a break from all those, all those movements on our arms. We're gonna go with just a lower crunch here. So flat on your back, if you see on that face, put your back up. Just a lower crunch. So knees are bent 90 degrees, heels on the floor, toes in the air, and you just curl the knees in the chest. Graze the heels to the floor, squeeze it up. Still getting some hip work, but we're just getting off our arms and out of that high plank position that we're in for 95% of this workout. Just curl it up. We're working the core, working the abs. Dig, dig, dig. Squeeze it. Squeeze. Tap. Squeeze it up. Keep tension on that core the whole time. Don't let it loosen up. Tap and squeeze. Tap it. Tension on the abs. You're tight. You're tight. Even when the arm legs are down, that abs needs to stay tight. Don't let it loosen up. Keep it strong. Two more. One. Last one, tight, 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 tight. Doesn't stop. And hop on up. 
All right. Back to the squat thrust. Shake it out here in between. We're going to go to the squat thrust and high knees. I want you to stretch those legs out. Stretch your hip flexors out. With one leg, the front leg bent, the back leg straight, stretching this back straight leg. Twist into it just to open up that hip flexor. Stretch it before we go back to it. Get a sip of water if you need to. Move around, active recovery. It's not a break. Just stretching, active. Bring water, please. Coming up, it's squat thrust to four high knees. Every time you come up, pop, pop, pop on those high knees. All right, let's get set up for it. Going in three, two, one, boom, squat thrust. Jump back, jump in, come up. One, two, three, four, right back down. Squat thrust. One, two, three, four. We'll move this thing out of the way, son. Keep knocking it over. Squat thrust, four high knees. Squat down, jump back, jump in, and pop, 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 pop. Rolling, we're rolling. Pop. Oh, you want to add mountain climbers? I see. I see you want to add mountain climbers. I like it. I like the enthusiasm. Making shit harder for everyone. You're going to make some enemies out there. They're going to slash your tires in the parking lot. In the virtual parking lot. Get those knees up there. Oh, yeah. I'm already soaking wet. Legs are shot. And we didn't even get to the dumbbells yet. Woo! There's so much to get to still. Four high knees. One, two, three, four. Watch out. Jump, jump, and pop, 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 pop. One, two, three, four. Bam, 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 bam. One more, one more. Ha! Bam, 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 bro! Shake it! Shake it, shake it, stretch it, move it. We have crawl out to high knees coming up. Crawl out to high knees. Coming up! All right. Let's do it. Wide stance. Good thing about this, the break from the squat thrust is the crawl out. The break from the crawl is the squat thrust. So we don't need much of a break. We just keep rolling on this shit. Crawl it out. Crawl back in. And one, two, three, four, four high knees. Every time you come up, let's roll. Go. Pull those hands out. Crawl back in. One, two, three, four. We're all out. We're all in. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. All the way out there. All the way back in. Get those thighs up. Listen, get those thighs parallel to the floor on those high knees. Go, 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 go. Four. All the way out to that full push up position. All the way out there. All the way back in, spring into the high knees. Keep it rolling. Woo! Banging them out. One, two, three, four, one more. One more, free shows. And in. One, two, three, four. Time. Oh, yeah. Stretch those quads and hips. I'm telling you, every chance you get. Next coming up is shoulder taps. So again, every round, the exercise you do, one round it's in the bottom position of the movement, the other round it's in the sustained position. So we just did high knees, it's in the sustained position. So we're back to the high plank position for shoulder taps. It's two shoulder taps, every time you're down on the squat thrust and on the crawl out, just one each arm. Try to even all which arm to go first with, doesn't really matter though. Let's go squat thrust, squat down, jump back, Tap, tap, jump forward, come up. Squat plus the shoulder tap. Two total taps, just one each side. Let's roll. Boom, 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 up. Squat plus down, squat down, jump back, 
tap, tap, come forward, squat up, yes, chain it together, let it flow, right back down, keep rolling, try to alternate, which arm goes first, on that, on that toe tap, so one time go left, right, squat thrust, next time, go right, left, mix it up, alternate, squat down, jump back, tap, tap, jump in, and up, keep rolling, up more, keep strong, control, tap, tap, let's do it, let's go, one more, one more, high, all right, next up, we have crawl out to shoulder tap. Crawl out to shoulder tap. Come it up. Stretch your shoulders out. Just crawl out is a little more on the upper body. You know that. Shoulder tap then. So it's alternating arms, alternating arms, alternating arms. Come back in. A lot of our five working this crawl out. Shake them out. Stretch it. Get ready. Let's do it. This is the last set before we add dumbbells in. And then we got to do this shit holding weight. Let's do it. All the way out. Tap, tap. Roll all the way in. Stand up. Work through it. Out there. Tap, tap. Come in. Stand up. You don't need a few of these. It's going to take a while. You're going to need your dumbbells for the next set. So the second this set's over, fly and get your dumbbells. All you need is a light, a light pair of dumbbells, light to medium pair. I'll just be using 20s, and that's it. So you decide what you need to use. Roll out, tap, tap, in, squat up. One more. One more. We still have a shitload of stuff to get to. Nice try. Great. Not great, but safe. Slam. Shake. Shake it, stretch it, get your dumbbells out. You're going to need dumbbells in this next round. Light, lightish to medium ish. I'll be using 20s. We're not going yet. I want you walking around, making sure those shoulders are ready, stretching those hips out, make sure those hip flexors are ready, stretch your glutes, make sure your glutes are ready. Keep rolling. Active recovery. Moving around. Stretch those shoulders. Bring the chest open. Rotate the shoulders. Keep them loose. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. We're going in about 10 seconds. Quick hydrate. And we're rolling. Lift your dumbbell. Same thing here. We're going to alternate the exercise one time into the bottom position, next time into the top position. So this first one is going to be squat thrust to renegade row, just right to left. One set, do right left. The next rep, do left right, just to get a different feel each time. So let's go with our dumbbells. Scoop them up. It's squat thrust time. So squat down, jump back, row. Row, jump in, stand up tall. Control that weight on the up and down. The next time, do the opposite arm first. Now I'm going to go left, right, because I went right, left last time. So it's a regular right row each side. Then squat them up. Lower them down with control. Ab strong. And come up. Oh, yeah. Millions of variations we're doing today. This is our first set of dumbbells. We've been going almost 45 minutes already. And we just got to the freaking dumbbells. Holy shit, we might be making this like a two and a half hour workout. I want to get your kettlebells and medicine some more. Shit. I might not even be a lot by then. I might be standing up by then. I'll be laying on the floor for a pile of my sweat. And blood and tears and spit and piss and teeth. <laughs> What's so funny about that board? Squat down, jump back. Row, 
rope and come up. Time. In between these dumbbell sets, it's going to be a couple seconds of a reset of a breather in between, just because your arm is going to need a break from maneuvering those weights around. So you know now it's going to be crawl out to renegade row on each side. Really, your upper body is just going to need a couple seconds of recovery before we move on. All right. Let's do it. Crawl out to renegade row. Scoop up those weights. So have a wide stance to your feet. You're going to walk those weights out, not letting them go. Once you're in the out position, row right, row left. Walk them back in. Squat up with control. Back down. Walk it out. Now row left, row right. Walk it back. Squat it up. It's going to be a slow moving set. But there's a shitload of work going on while you're doing it. Working your entire body. Just by moving your body in the next week, it's going to continue beating the heart rate up there while it's working all the muscles in your body. Woo! Two more. Two more. Work through it. Oh, yeah. Row. Row. Walk it in. Squat it up. Last one. Oh, yeah. Row. Row. Back. Time. Goes down. Back to the squat thrust. And you know that set was in the bottom position for the rows. So this one's going to be in the top position. This one's just going to be a curl to a, uh, sorry, just a curl. When you stand up, you're going to hit four alternating bicep curls. So one, two, three, four, just to each side. Squat thrust to four alternating bicep curls. So you can go So those dumbbells are going to get heavy real fast. Even, even just after these couple of sets we did. Shake them out. Squat thrust. So four, all same bicep curls. I don't care if your palms are in, palms up, twisting, flipping, cartwheeling, back flipping, doesn't matter. Just keep it freaking moving. Let's roll, pick up the weights, and go. Squat thrust, jump in, jump up, come up. One, two, three, four. Squat thrust. One, two, three, four. One time, go right, left, right, left. Next time, go left, right, left, right on those curls. Three, four, oh yeah. One, two, three, four. If you have a real light weight, just be going real fast on those curls. Four, three, four. One, two, three, four. Pump up those arms. Pump up those forearms. They grip. Burn it out. Ha, ha. Ha! Two more times. Two more. We're working. One, two, three. Pumping it. Last one. Woo! Bam, 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 bam. Woo! Put it down. <sighs> Crawl out. So four. All ten curls coming up. Your arms need a break. Your arms should be pumped right now. They should be ready to explode. The biceps, the curls for the girls. Shake them out. Stay loose. So this one's going to be even more on the upper body because that crawl out with these dumbbells takes a shit load of work in your chest, your shoulders, your thighs, your core, your hips, your legs, everything. And then when you come up and your arms are tired, you still got to pump those four alternate curls. Let's do it. Scoop them up. Get your weights up. Going in three, two, one. Go. Wide stance, crawl all the way out to a full push-up position. Crawl back in for one, two, three, four. Pump it, crawl all the way out. Oh yeah, crawl it back in. Alternate with side goes first. Three, four. Let's do it. Right back in. One, two, three, four. Roll it. Back in. One, two, three, four. Back out. Get up. One, 
two. Dig it. Dig it. There it is. Right back in. Boom. 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 All the way out. That's the last one. Last one right here. Finish it. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Your grip, your arms, your shoulders, your sweat, your breathing should be shot. Should be pumped up. Your whole body should be pumped up here. If not, you need to pick up the pace. Keeping it moving. Keeping it rolling. So next, you know we're back to squat thrust. We're still with the dumbbells. We're going to be in the bottom position. Squat thrust, you're going to do reverse fly right, reverse fly left. I mean, you're going to get a lighter weight in this one. Because it's a real hard movement. Do not need heavy weight on these. At all. Like I'm using a 15, and that might even be heavy at this point. But you know what? We don't care. If I have to use a 5 pounder, I'll use a 5 pounder. I'm not care. What it looks like. We're hurting my manly ego. So once you get to the bottom position, you reverse fly right, reverse fly left, and then back up. So start with a squat thrust. Squat thrust, reverse fly. You just did one in the top position, right? Biceps, now the exercise in the bottom position. You can follow this trend all day. Let's do it. Squat thrust, reverse fly. Squat down, jump back. Fly right, down, control. Don't rush these. And jump in, come up. If you went right and left that time, go left, right the next time. Go. So now left, go. Yeah. Even 15 pounds is freaking hard for this. What do you got, Sice? Three. Ash strong. Hold your ground. A lot of work going on there to stay balanced and stay straight, stay stable. And then we got to repeat these with the crawl outs. What the hell? Idea was that some madman. He must be mad. No. What is madness? Whose madness plan was this? This is Sparta! Boom! One more. One more. Work through it. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Time. Woo! And we gotta repeat those reverse flies with the crawl outs. It's gonna be a very high level of high level of what? Yes. High level of suckery coming up. Suckery. Crawl out to reverse fly. Coming up. Stretch your shoulders. Keep it loose. Keep it moving. All right, let's do it. Crawl out to reverse fly. Wide stance. Walk those weights out. Begin. Go. Don't let them slide. Fly right. Fly left. Roll back in. And squat up. So you went right left last time. Now to go left and right. And then crawl back in. Oh yeah. Squat down. Boom. Squeeze up. And other side. In. And up. We don't need a ton of these. Don't want to overdo it on your shoulders. So we're going to hit about two more. Get in. Woo! Last one. Ah! Boom. Boom. Ah! And chuck those damn weights. Still got the dumbbells coming up. The next one is back to the squat thrust. It's going to be dumbbell curl to press. Just one rep, double arm. So you come up in the squat thrust, it's just boom, double arm, curl, press. Arms in the whole time. So it's just curl, press, and right back to the squat thrust. If you feeling good, you can go back to the other weight you had. You should be stretching your legs, your shoulders. 
Getting ready. Continuing every one of these exercises today, pretty much was freaking total body. I want to get your shoulders a little more breaks. I want you to get a good curls and a press. Let's drop onto our backs. Onto your backs. We're going to go with flutter kicks. Wide, slow, flutter kicks. A wide range. Abs tight. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Now put your feet on the floor with your knees bent. You do a hip raise. Just extend those hips. Tuck your right knee to the chest. Bring the hips down. Right back up. Hip raise. Left knee. So it's bridge up. Hip raise. Right knee tuck. Down. Right back up. Hip raise. Left knee tuck. Right back down. Just to get those shoulders a little more of a break. You're going to open up those hips. Keep the glutes fired up. Ready for this squat thrust. To curl the press. Just a little break exercise. Time. Come up onto your feet. And your shoulders should be fresh. Good as new. Recovered. Get one quick set if you have to before we start. Because we got squat thrust to curl the press and crawl out to curl the press. Let's do it. Grab your dumbbells if you have your heavier pair. If you can handle a heavier pair at this point, go for it. Squat thrust, curl the wrist. Crawl out, curl the press. Going in three, two, one. Boom. Squat thrust in, out. Right up. Ha. Curl the press right back down. Flow. This one flows smooth. Get a nice rhythm to it. Get a nice pace to it. A little angle. Just so you can see where we're at. We control every movement, even on the curl press on the way down. As you're pushing up, don't let your lower back arch hold the ground. Core is tight. Curl. Press. Yes. Throw them up there. Two more. Two more. Boom. Last one. Time. Got it now. We got it now. Repeat the curl to press with the crawl out. So crawl out. Double arm. Curl the press. Keep it moving. In between. It's just a second to get those arms a break. That's all we're doing. It's not a real break. Just a two-second shaking. Two seconds shaking. All right, let's get set up. Get your dumbbells. Wide stance. Squat down. Crawl all the way out. Push up position. Crawl back in. And curl. Press. Throw it up. There it is. Crawl out. Crawl in. Curl. And rush. Dig. Dig. Way out there. Full push up position. Take your time to crawl out in that extra week. Don't jam up your shoulders. Don't rush it. You're going to roll your wrist. Don't let the weight slide out there. Walk them out step by step. One more. Last one. Woo. Back in. Curl. Shoot it up. Shake it. Good. One more set of dumbbells coming up. All this is going to be is a fast paced set. You're going to do one squat thrust, one crawl out. One squat thrust, one crawl out with the dumbbells. It's starting to burn out here. This is the last set we have to do with the dumbbells right here. Squat thrust, crawl out. This is all today reps. So for one set. The squat thrust, your hands stay in place and your feet move. The next set, your feet stay in place and your hands move. Let's do it. Grab your weights. Squat thrust goes first. Three, two, one, go. So squat thrust. Stand up. Roll out. Stand up. Right 
back to the squat thrust. Chain it together. Work through it. Alternating reps. Oh yeah. Squat thrust with the weights. Roll outs with the weights. Walk those hands out. Full push up position. Woo! Bam. Oh yeah. Squat thrust. for anything just put a comment below the video send me a private message a text a call you need a little more fine-tuning your nutrition let's hop on the phone for 10-15 minutes let's square it away let's break it down but in order to do that first you need to make sure that you are tracking your food you should be, you should be posting a picture of your open my fitness pal your macros in this group in the VIP group every single day so if you start feeling like something's off, not getting the results you want, you can look at the last two weeks worth of data, including the freaking weekends. Because I noticed that whenever there's some consistency with posting of meals and foods and, and my fitness pal charts, I notice the lack sometimes of the posts on the weekend. The weekend counts. Your body doesn't give a shit that it's a Saturday or a Sunday. It doesn't care that you're going to a beginning of summer party, an end of summer party, a, a birthday a funeral, a Halloween, a memorial, a labor, a Christmas, uh, whatever, your body doesn't know it, it doesn't care. It doesn't care. So make sure you're still safe keeping track of the weekend. One bad weekend will kill an entire perfect week. Just a below average weekend, not even a horrible weekend. A below average weekend will kill a perfect week. Just keep that in mind. So keep track of your nutrition and your food. Stay focused on the weekend. That's the way it goes. Nice work if you follow along here live. Let's go to Harry Knuckle Fist Bump on Zoom and on Facebook. If you need anything, let me know. Reach out. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. I'm sure Freak Show here.
Probably has something he wants to tell you. No! Very, very normal child again. I do this problem. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.